Alright, we are here to look at the lithium ion battery modification on the JBL Extreme. That is when this thing loses its battery and the battery goes bad. Then we take the old one out. I have a video here where I disassemble the whole thing if you need to know how to get it out. Once you have it out, you have to cut out this battery management board in here carefully without touching all the connections at the same time. So we need to cut out all four connections from the batteries. That's how the batteries look like with cut off connections. And when you have those cut out, then you can salvage the battery management board that looks like this. So you leave everything as is on there, just clean up the contacts a little. And then we are trying to get those uh, 18560 batteries or 18650 batteries in there. There's one slight problem here on the right side. This edge there is um, too much that has to come off in order to get the batteries in there if you want to do with the 18650s. Um, that's what I did here with the Dremel. I just removed it. And then now we can see that fits a lot better. There. Will work. So I'm going to put the speakers back in. I took them out as I was dremeling there. I didn't want to get any dust in there so much into the speaker. I noticed that the wires here, the cables, are not insulated at all. So that's why I use some shrink tube on those connectors. To make that a little better um, who knows you know when I push this back in so I don't want to get take any risk there that's why I insulated those you can use tape too okay so get those in and then the question is where do you get those batteries from I, I wanted to save money and I took an old laptop battery and I took out all the batteries out of this thing there was six in there and uh, again there I cut those batteries out, I measured every single one of them and um, there was four good ones and two bad ones. So this whole battery pack went dead because of two zeroed out, they were shortened out. Um, and to be able to solder better I use a Dremel here to roughen up the bottom a little bit and the top so that it's easier to connect together. Here is the drawing and how I did this. You can see what wire goes where. If you pause the video here, you have a plan. And then I just do follow the, the thing there. <coughs> Look at this. Shrink tube I use to keep this together. The shrink tube like this is very cheap, but you can use tape or whatever you want. Don't make it too thick. The good part on the shrink tube is that it's very thin. And then you use your hot air gun. Like this. Get it all together. And you have an almost professional battery pack there. If this all this is too much for you, you can purchase batteries like this, like the pouch batteries that fit in there exactly. That saves you a lot of work, and in my opinion, they are both the same. There shouldn't be a big difference. The connection goes in, the battery connection. Make sure it sits good. Form factor works, and then I get the drivers back in with two screws. And then I have to close the bottom cover. Uh, we need to be sure that we are very careful with the battery charge control LED thing there. First, let's do a quick test. Power it up. There it goes, and it's charging. Perfect. So that means you connected everything right. And then we screw that back on the charge controller. Oh, this, this is charge status LED strip there. That checks the battery status status and the how it solders. And then we get the whole cover back on and we're good. So this thing is working again. If we turn it on, 
we are going to see our LEDs. How many do we have? Five. See? Perfect. <laughs>